At the American Music Awards, Machine Gun Kelly nailed it. Machine Gun Kelly first trickled onto streaming platforms back in 2013 with his track Black Tuxedo. But it's rare that you'll actually see him in one. Instead, Kelly has become one of the most left-field dressers in Hollywood, using any and every event to shock, stunt and experiment, and that's before the PDA with Megan Fox. There was the black tongue and open-collared shirt. There was the time he rocked one of British designer Chet Lowe's pink and blue cropped popcorn tops. And factor in last month's outing in a latex bolero, matching trousers and a transparent corset by Dolce & Gabbana. Weird, and good, and fun. Last night he served more of that at the 2022 American Music Awards. There to scoop the favorite rock artist award, the mainstream sellout artist skewered a violet wool neoprene Dolce & Gabbana suit. Like, actually. There were spikes, dozens of them, that were made from gunmetal and measuring in at several inches. It's hard to pee in, Kelly told the crowd as he accepted his award. We figured. As outré as it may seem, Kelly's deviant sense of style taps into the wider, more individualistic attitude towards menswear. Where once red carpets were awash with tight-fitting tailored numbers by the stalwarts of Seville Row, today's award ceremonies, premieres and press tours have become a place for celebrities to really get playful. Take Harry Styles for instance, whose 70s-infused fits wouldn't be complete without a kitschy handbag or a set of pearls stolen from Nan. Timothy Chalamet has made a strong case for corsetry, while plenty of guys, Joe Locke, Nick Jonas, Thomas Doherty, Manu Rios et al., have made going shirtless the norm. But the sharpest dresser? Machine Gun Kelly. No, really.